Hey everyone, my name is Matt, and this is uh, Donovan here. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I'm trying to do the most weird intro ever today, apparently. At least I'm not got my belly in the floor. Well, your your mic is dangling from your tool belt now, so there's there's that. Anyway, Whatever. welcome Whatever welcome you back. Thought. It found you. Your mic found you. It's like you don't have me on. You should probably have me on. Welcome back to our home renovation edition thing. Today is the start of a very exciting thing moving forward. Uh, converting our wall of OSB to a wall of windows, starting with the most important thing, the door, which the door, as we've said many times, sets everything else. So everything, everything with the layout in here is all set based off the location of this door. And the first thing we're doing today is putting it in its final place and getting rid of our temporary door. It's over here. It's over, it was over there a little yeah, bit. We're over here. <laughs> so there's a little bit, little bit of back and forth as we were framing this to kind of figure out where this is going to be. So frame wide, and then when we have the door in, we actually know the actual final size of the door, everything with the door, and we can move forward from there. So I'm, I'm pretty excited because once this door goes in, all the windows can go in. Yes. And that's going to be a lot of glass. Quite a bit of glass. Lots of glass. Quick. Quick, quick glass. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. So as a quick refresher, here is our floor plan. So our door goes here, window, window, five windows, and then a single window over here. And all these windows are going to are uh, set based off that door. So you can see here we have our door and the actual finished head height of the door needs to be the same as all the windows so that our trim all lines up because we're wrapping the whole room in this uh, band board up top. So you want it to be all even along the top. This door is what sets the height of this band, which then sets the height of all the windows. The other interesting thing over here is we have this detail with the casings. Uh, so the casings on the door and the window line up so they're right in the middle of our light switches. So this is there's, there's no room for a whole lot of play here. So getting this door exactly where it needs to be uh, is uh, kind of important. And then looking at this elevation here, which is what's framed here, five windows. You can see that band board continues across the room. So all these windows need to be at the same height on this wall as well. And then the last one we have is this little window here, which also needs to be at the same height. Just like so. Remember we put that in there? <laughs> that was a long time ago, yes. It's in. Now, another fun detail, as you can see, our walls are super thick. We're at 10 and a quarter. So our fancy pants door needs some extension jams. So we have, these are the extension jams, which will bring the thickness of the door out the uh, distance that we need. Yeah, normally you'd put extension jams on windows and doors on the inside. But if we did that, we wouldn't be able to open this door as far. <laughs> right. Yeah, so the hinge point would be the hinge point is going to be well well inside the wall on that thick of a wall so this door is going to come so all the extension is on the outside mm -hmm. so the door will be and it'll be when on the inside here this will be flush when it's closed, when it's closed yeah. it'll be flush just pat, you know just the thickness of the casing back and then it'll be inset so we'll be installing those later we got we're, we're finally going this is this is actually going to happen is it lunchtime? Just in time for lunch. It's lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. It's lunchtime. Ta da! Thirty-four and five eighths. Thirty-four five eighths two pack. Yay! Bogo. Yay! Yay! Can you cut some short blocks about that long? I want to just put some blocking in between, tie these together. Take it 
how ridiculous it'd be like, ah, no problem, here we go. I've seen it done. But one more somewhere still. Alright, yeah, that was loose. What do you want to do with this? Squid it down or? Tip it out of the way for the moment. <laughs> you made a mess again. I know I did. I just swept this. Yep. Sweeping it right out, just sweeping it under the rug outside. <laughs> <laughs> the the big outdoor rug. Yeah. All right, we have our door on the operating table. Operate it. Doctor Donovan <laughs> just scrubbed in. together and it goes all down at one shot. That was one extension jam unit? Yep. Okay. That's what, I'm, that's what I wanted to get it up here kind of. Yeah. So we have two extensions which are going to go on. They go on with these uh, rubberish, plasticky rubbery. Yeah, kind of like a clip weather things. stripping molding, but it's specific for this. Something that creates a little vertical section here for this piece of drop down into These are the corner clips. Just hold those extrusions together. All right. Right on, the, on the floor right there. That's two sizes. Gentle, it's gonna go. I, I figured. I, was, I only grabbed the gentle one at first, and I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. I know where this stays going to go. So that's one.
A penny roller? You can go ask Scott for his. A yeah, specific roller just for Oh, just for this one? No, I don't know. I don't. You could literally tell me anything. I don't think so. <laughs> Now we can reattach the, uh, I forgot the word for it already. Flange. Nailing flange. Nailing flange. <laughs> I had lunch, okay? My brain's like gone. Feeling sluggish. Does that just go on like those other things that just kind of press in? It just presses right into the flange. I'll prep the opening then. Prep the opening. Okay. Put the pan in the pan. I'm gonna make the pan yet. Yeah. I'll make Kyle proud. No, your sheet metal work? No. He is, God, he's like, I mean, I know he's been doing it a long time, but it's just like, he makes it look so effortless. Oh, I know. Like, holy crap. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> Down a little bit. I got the roll. Huh? I got the roll.
keep the water outside. Yeah. Um, need a uh, scaffolding or a or bench. Bench. So you want to, basically, you want to set it down and pick it again from yep. the outside. Yep, if you can. Yeah, can you come forward. Yep. Right here. There you go. My only thought for today. That's it. We're done after this one. <laughs> Hands don't fit. Um, Can you go underneath? No, not anymore. Oh, my knee's in the way. So we're gonna come all the way out with this thing? No, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to go up, and I don't know if I can quite stand it. So what do you want me to do that? Um, let's pull those pull out the of blocks there. out. Pull the blocks out. I just don't want to crush your. Your lip. I think you're farther enough. If I stay up high, I think we're okay. fine. Pancake, you are not helpful right now. Pancake, out of here. Out, out. Shoot. Do whatever, Dad. So just kind of keep it here on the... Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get all the way up. We probably get really close to vertical. Can you slide the bottom towards me? You're so close. I got hair, there's a hair too tall. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna do this then. We gotta pick up this high in the air and slide it in somehow. Um, is that Scott? Yeah. Hey Scott, could you give us a hand for just a second? We can't quite get this stood in. Okay. So I'm gonna have you guys grab the bottom. You want me to go around the other way? Yeah, go around the other way. Okay. And if, if you guys grab a side and go out uh -huh, and, and then pack down. back in. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. That's fine. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it alone, so. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's where my brain is going chicka 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 chicka. <laughs> Who else can rope into this? I mean, it looks nice from here. Looks fabulous. Can I start peeling? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so the cameras can see you. So I think what we're going to do is you guys are going to go out just far enough and down that I can stand it. Nope. You got to come off further. Yep. All right. Can we go in now? Quarter inch yet. I'm in on my side at least. No? Yeah, no more here. Can you go more vertical, Donovan? Can we, yeah, come out just a little more on the top? All right, now I'll try it. Okay, I'm, I'm in here. How's your flange? You good on top yet? I think we're in. Okay, so should we give it gentle Yeah, just push? start sliding it in. Oh, you all right? This, this flashing. I'll be okay. Be it bit me a little bit. This flashing's supposed to be out, huh? Yeah. Is it wrapped up in? Yeah. Can you push back out for a second? Here we go. Okay, I'll come back in. Okay, Looks right. Like this side's good. We gotta get the top flange. Uh, the top's out. I can see it. Is right it? Here. Yep, the top's out. Okay, let's go back in. Yeah, you guys got it now. Good to go. Well, it's all you. Perfect. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. You want to do it? Let, let it back in or hold just, it, keep just, it? Just leave it right there. I'm going to go around to the other side. If you can just try to balance there. I'm going to go take a coffee break. I guess cookie time. <laughs> you wouldn't diss to me. Huh? Just, they just hold us here. I'll be back in an hour. I'll come back in. I'm going to pull the bottom out just a smidge on this side. Yeah, I'm out.
Half flange is good. Side the side's good. Okay. You touch the goop. I'm in the goop, so that's where we're good. <laughs> um, I'll have you I'll tr trade places with you. I'm gonna go inside. Now I have your coffee break. Now I'm gonna have the coffee break. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, you know, I'm good. Just You're good. Full of frosting. No frosting on the cake. All right. So there's that. And did I bring the red impact out here? I thought I did. I, I wasn't watching. I was too busy not dropping the door. You can run one of these, right? No, that one's the wrong color. I know it's got it's got the the green. The, everything green does something. The go button's green. I don't know if we handle that. I well, don't. Not necessarily. It does something. That's like a go button, but it does something. <laughs> All right. I want a couple of screws up high. I just want to get two in it for right now, and then I want to start. Then I want to swing the door. They're loose. Is that good? That's good for the moment. Yeah. Let's set one on all four corners because this thing's like it's level. I got to bring the center this this side in just a little bit, but right, I'll pin it down here. Is that rain? Oh yeah. Well, what the hell? Like a lot of rain. I want to set those four. Yeah. I want to set about half half of these on this side, like every other. Okay. Is that one uh, camera going to be okay? It should, I have it underneath the balcony, so it should be okay. At least for the next piece. Okay, hang on. Now it's really coming down. We got some rain and see our scupper is working. The roof works. That's exciting. trying to go through them? Yeah, and it just uh, it spun them all out. You may have to hold them. I can I can hold things. You can, I mean if it involves standing around, I am your man. About an inch down from the top. Shims. Oh, that's, that's got a nice uh, clothes feeling. I'm going to do a little bit of, I want to do some more shimmy and pinning in here. It closes really solemnly. And then that. Oh! Top and bottom. Top and bottom pass. Bonus points. And a lock. Wow. So when it's really windy, it won't blow open like that one. This is the only thing I let you do. Usually, little things in life. <laughs> All right, 
are all screwed in there. And I am just wrapping up all the uh, screws out here. I can help with this. Okay, there it is. The one critical detail we've been waiting for. For how how long are we waiting for this detail? Six months to figure out what this number is. <laughs> the uh, this door has been a, a heck of a journey to get. So we ordered this back in October, and the lead times on the doors and windows, the windows I think were like. 14 weeks and the door was maybe 18 or something. So the windows were here about a month before the door uh, arrived and we needed the door first anyway. So having the windows early didn't really do anything nope. for us. So and then the door came in and then it didn't have the extension jam yet, which has to go on first, has to be on before we set the door. So we're dealing with that. We're going to set the door yesterday, but we found out the extension jam was coming today. So we held off on set the door. Temporarily set the door. Temporarily. Yes, because if we didn't have the extension jams, we would have temporarily set it just to get the height we needed so we could move forward. But now we can actually move forward without having to undo or go backwards. Again. <laughs> Again. So, so yeah, it's been it's been it's been something with this this door. One little detail that everything else is predicated on. This door. <laughs> But it's a, it's a nice door and we got our, finally got our head height. So now we will be able to set all of our windows to the same exact height as this door. And you, you can kind of see now there'll be a band board that wraps all the way along here, which ties all of the windows into the door all at the same height. So that detail is kind of important. So next week we'll start setting all of these windows. This this uh, this one's getting bigger. I feel like every time I look at it, heavier. <laughs> big, heavier. bigger and heavier. <laughs> but it's it is really coming along in here and starting to come to life. And next week, this will all be glass. It's it's happening. It's getting real. It's finally getting real. I can see outside again. So there it is, we finally have a door and I can't even really explain how excited I am about this because it's been uh, such a process and such a long journey to get to this point. So even with the, the lead times and then finally getting it here and not having everything we needed and all that, it's been, it's, it's been interesting. <laughs> but uh, when we look at these doors and windows, that was in October and it's like the last day of April or like the second to last day of April. So. Just to give you an idea of how long this has been kind of going and trying it going, months. <laughs> it's been literally months, uh, like six months to get to this point. And it's finally happening. We finally have uh, this door. And one of the things that I've been kind of learning as the project goes on is how important this door actually is to the entire layout of the entire uh, space because this door sets like everything else like the wall locations the positions of everything else and of course as we talked about all the window heights but for like this wall for instance the way it's supposed to lay out is <laughs> trim board window trim window trim board trim board door trim board wall so this wall is set by the exact location of that door and so are these windows all the way around and it's just everything, <laughs> everything is reliant upon this one piece of the giant puzzle. So pretty exciting. We're going to be uh, really moving forward here shortly. And I, I'm just, I'm excited to see some like visible progress versus the 
months we spent, feels like toiling around in here, converting the space, putting in all this new structure and all that. To see some quick, sudden changes is going to be, it's going to make my heart feel good. Because <laughs> this is, this has been very difficult <laughs> to kind of deal with the, the constant, oh, we're still, we're still doing this thing, uh, part of the whole process. But that's any large projects, you kind of get into those fun little slumps. And I'm, I'm hoping and I'm thinking that we are, we've, we've crested that now. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. We greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on this home renovation edition or model, whatever you want to call it, please feel free to leave us a comment. As always, we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.